Oh, that's yeah. it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. Uh, this is called uh, A Brief History of a Little Girl. I only wrote it last night, so I'm not very familiar with it. She's a mere tree. The man's to know the history of me. Well, now I say, that was a long time ago. Try to remember, she pleads. I remember when you first came out of your shell, hatched into a lovely little girl. You were my duckling. Everywhere I went, there you were. I could hear you cry even before you cried. You made me a good daddy mummy. Your dreams staining the blue pillow with golden curls. Every night the moon would come to our window just to take a peep at you. One day your name perched upon you and never flew off again. You were a fairy story I had never heard before and wanted to hear more. Once when you fell you hit the road. Naughty road for falling me. No, I never, she squeals. Oh, yes, you did, I tickle. Is there any more of me? Oh, loads, loads more, but I'm too old and tired. Well, she tells her dolls. He tells a good story, but shh, it's not all true. The dolls gasp in disbelief, having drunk down the dregs of every detail. Thank you. And we were supposed to go to... Uh, Fiona Sinclair, lovely poet, uh, her birthday, 60th birthday, and uh, we couldn't get there because of the clampdown, the lockdown, the clampdown. So I wrote her a poem as a gift. It's what po poets do to other poets, to give them the gift of words. So this is called To See the Pacific in a Puddle. I miss your hug, the hug hellos. I miss the kiss goodbyes, the looking into eyes, the laughter, the surprise. How much we took for granted, the simple sharing of a cuppa, the simple touching of a hand. Someday, when all this will be a story to be told, when we will be unearthed as if from an archaeological gig, blinking at the future, the ordinary things, the bric-a-brac of who we were and how, will be precious as anything to be found in a museum, the jewels of the everyday. To see the Pacific in a puddle, eternity in a child's smile, a walk in the wood, the infinity of a wildflower, the kissing you goodbye, the hugging you hello. And there's one more. This is called, uh, you can see that the lockdown is getting to me and I'm getting very bored altogether. This is called When Furniture Falls Out. The bed was asleep. Chairs just sat around. The door refused to budge. Window could not decide whether it wanted to be open or... Earlier in the evening, the fire had gone out, throwing casually over his shoulder, I may be some time. The picture kept going on about being framed. Not again, Sofa muttered, its usual grumpy self. The elephant in the room, nobody mentioned it. The elephant was thinking, now how did I get into this? Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I think, especially that second one, I think uh, rang true with, with all of us, you know, that uh, uh, sort of sense of where are we now and how's he going to pan out and what are we going to remember, what are we not going to remember. And the little, <coughs> I like little glancing references to Blake on the way through as well. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right.